वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क इन दिस मैनर राइट ए शॉर्ट नोट ऑन एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स सो इन दैट कंडीशन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू गिव डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स देन यू हैव टू गिव शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन एलोंग विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टोरेंट देन यू हैव टू गिव classification of expectorant with the example so first we will start with the definition of expectorants expectorants are the agents that remove sputum from the respiratory tract these agents are known as expectorant how they can work they will work either of the two mechanism first one either they can increase the fluidity of sputum that can be done by reducing the viscosity of the sputum so that the fluidity will be increases second one is the increasing the volume of fluid so that it will be expelled out from the respiratory tract by the process of coughing so these are the two mechanism by which these expectorants can work some examples of the expectorants are ammonium chloride potassium iodide sodium iodide these are the chemical agents some bitter drugs are also there that can also act as expectorants as the dose of expectorant is high so if the patient is sensitive then vomiting may occur so it is well advisable that the dose of the expectorant should be given in a manner that can be well tolerated by the patient to avoid this vomiting along with the dose of expectorant some pharmaceutical aid like flavors sweeteners as well as some cough suppressants should also be given now we will discuss classification of expectorants these expectorants can be classified into two categories based on their mechanism of action first one is sedative expectorants second is stimulant expectorants now we will discuss both these class one by one first one is sedative expectorant how they can act they irritate the stomach so that they will stimulate the gastric reflexes so the sputum will be expelled out due to stimulation of gastric reflexes example of sedative expectorants are some bitter drugs like ipecac senega indian squill some chemical agents are also there like antimony potassium tartrate ammonium chloride potassium citrate potassium iodide sodium iodide this can also act as sedative expectorants second one is stimulant expectorants they can act directly or indirectly they stimulate secretory cells of respiratory tract so due to stimulation of these secretory cells of respiratory tract more fluid will be produced in the respiratory tract that will dilute the sputum so these diluted sputum will be expelled out through the respiratory tract examples of stimulant expectorants are some drugs like eucalyptus lemon anise some active constituents like terpene hydrate anethol this can also act as stimulant expectorants this is all about expectorants whenever question ask in your examination you will mention all these things prepare well we will meet again in the next lecture with another topic thank you for watching this video